All right, folks. So what we have here is a 2010 Honda Accord. Customer complaint is that the pedal goes to the floor. Watch. But if you pump it up, she has a pedal. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna shut it off and we're gonna pump it up. I'm gonna step on it and hold it. What we're checking for is to see if the brake pedal goes to the floor. Okay, if it goes to the floor, you either have a leak or you have a bad master cylinder. If it holds pressure, then at least you know that part of it is good. Could be air in the lines. Could be a lot of things. You have to pull the wheels off and check. Do some investigation here. Okay, pedal's nice and strong. Foot did not go down or move at all. So now we're gonna go underneath the hood and we are gonna check the brake fluid. All right, off we go. All right, so we popped open the hood and let's take a look. Get a pair of gloves and check the fluid in the master cylinder. Yeah, this is a little twisty cap. All right, the brake fluid is full. Matter of fact, it's overfilled. It's it's to the top. So that's a red flag. That means somebody tried to overcompensate and fill it up with extra brake fluid. That's one of the problems. So we're going to go forward and pull the wheels off. Okay? That'll be next. All right, so we're going to pull all the wheels off. I want to check the pads. Now you look at the rotors. The rotor's been changed. You can see the little shiny mark there. See the lip? That's a bad lip there. So the rotors should have been changed when they did the brake pads. Okay? Because you lose a couple of thousands here. You lose a couple of thousands in there. Okay? The rotor gets thin. And the brake caliber piston has to come out a little bit more and you use more brake fluid coming out. All right, now, let's look at the brake pads. It looks almost new, see that? So this was changed without the rotors, but the brake pads are good. Okay, let's look at the one on top. Inside, see if you can see in there for you guys, but I saw it already. It's just like the other one. All right, it's in good shape. Try to film this for you folks to see. Well, we can see it. Brake pads in good shape. Alright, this is the left front. Let's go over to the right front. You can see the lip? Look how pronounced that is. So the brake rotors are thin. Same thing here. Think brake pads are good. They're practically new. So you can see it from here. Hard for me to show it to you guys, but you see where the metal pad is, that's the pad, that's the rotor. So that's the difference, that gap there. So you know that's good. Right? Off to the rear. The rears look like they've been changed. This looks like the uh the AutoZone coated one, you can see it's coated. Okay, it's in good shape. The brake pads are good. They're not brand new, but they are good. See that? It's got the proper clips on there. That's the inner pad. That's the outer pad. They're right up against the rotors. Yeah. Follow along. This is the good one. All right, same thing. 
waters look pretty decent. Brake pad. Over here, you can tell. It's got a nice uh, thickness to it. Let's go in here. Let's shine the light on it. Let's see here. There you go. Do you see a problem there? Do you see that the pad on the right side is not even touching the rotor? Okay. See that? Give you up close look without getting too blurry. Look at that. The pad is not even touching the rotor. The other one is, so that gives you the low pedal. By the time that piston comes out and that pad touches that rotor like that, you lost all your brake pedal. So, now we're going to find out if it's a caliper problem or a hardware problem with this caliper not sliding back and forth. Alright, so we're going to check that. So I'm going to set up this little Fugazi camera setup to see if I can show you what happens when I step on the brakes. Alright, I'm going to watch the operation of that pad. stepped on it three times. Did it move? Did it again three times. It's hard to see. I'm gonna have to check this video afterwards, but let me start it off. Did it move? Alright, I'm gonna check the video and I'll come back and I'll tell you. Doesn't look like it moved. It looks like it's frozen. Alright guys, so the proper fix for this is you have to change both calipers and you gotta change all the cables, both cables, all the way to the front because it's, uh, it's all jammed up and rotted to death. All right, other than that, calipers have to be changed. What you can do, you could manually adjust the piston so it can come out a little further, and make up for the gap. Until the customer's ready to buy, okay? Ciao.